Breaking news. Six species of rove beetles were discovered in South America with one getting a particularly interesting name for the structure of its penis. For biologists and especially entomologists, it's pretty common to intently stare at genitalia because it's a reliable way to identify different species as each evolved unique structures to ensure reproduction. Researchers from the University of Copenhagen sifted through and studied hidden collections of specimens from the Natural History Museum of Denmark and found some rove beetles that haven't been identified yet. Five of them were given your typical sciency name, but one particular beetle's phallus was oddly shaped like a bottle opener. So, with such potential for a name, one of the researchers could have easily named it after their favorite brew, but in a fun twist of fate, many of their research projects were actually funded by the Carlsberg Foundation, so it was only fitting that this beetle be dubbed Loncavillius Carlsbergi. Although lighthearted in name, a big hope for the researchers is that this beetle and its penis can help bring awareness and interest to the eccentric and amazing world of insects. As climate change bears its ugly face, biodiversity is at a huge risk. In a simulation done by the researchers, these beetles are losing much of their home in as little as 40 years. Most species on Earth haven't been properly identified nor described, and as many species go extinct, it's becoming increasingly urgent and crucial to learn and preserve them before they're gone. But there's still so much to learn about these unusual rove beetles, such as why they live amongst the flowers rather than the usual forest litter, or the most curious question of all, what is the purpose of that bottle opener penis? What is that beetle trying to crack into? With that being said, the researchers are doing more to bring about awareness by producing a bottle opener modeled after their mascot Carlsberg Beetle's penis. I'd argue, maybe not the best beetle, but it'd be fun to debate it over a beer.